So I guess from one captain during World War II to another captain in the 90s, we're adding a third one from Britain. Let's talk about the news. Okay guys, so ain't it cool news who has had plenty of scoops in the past that have, uh, I guess, proven viable, is reporting that Marvel is deep in development on a Captain Britain. Now, whether this is a series or a movie, it's not exactly clear. They seem to be saying it's a movie, but I do have to bring you back to a couple of years ago where we know they were actively scouting in London for a Captain Britain series. And then nothing happened and one of the actual production designers teased an actor and that they were looking at materials for a suit and everything, and then nothing happened. Naturally, I think this is kind of the, I guess, the way for Marvel. We know there's a Riri Williams Iron Man script out there that's, I guess, phenomenal. We know there's multiple scripts out there for Blade. It just hasn't materialized yet. Captain Britain, on one hand, is a character you can understand how you want that to be a push, um, and specifically for the international market. Now, I have to take you back to 2008 and 9 when they announced Captain America. Originally, the big worry was this is going to be a failure because you're selling Captain America to a foreign international market where America isn't exactly the center of the world, right? It turns out none of that really mattered because they kept the name and the character sold. Now Captain Marvel is coming. That's being catered to a more female-driven audience. You can understand that. And Captain Britain naturally the character brings with him a lot of history with the Excalibur sword and all that and if they get back the X-Men in time they could probably incorporate Excalibur somewhere in there like the team and stuff but on the other hand the report is that they're doing it with Guy Ritchie who's currently doing Milan for the Disney so that's cool on the other hand it makes you think of the King Arthur movie while visually spectacular you know visually spectacular, but the story's not exactly there. And Guy Ritchie seems to be an interesting pick considering if you pick him, you know you're getting a visual style that's so unique, it's gonna stand out. On the other hand, does he fit into the Marvel Disney formula? Because you can't go too far out of left field because then you create a movie that doesn't fit into the tone. Edgar Wright's Ant-Man is a prime example. He didn't want the quantum realm, he didn't want this, he wanted a can't be 60s style, and they were like, get out, Peyton Reed, come in. So that's the thing. I think Peyton Reed, you know, honestly showed that he could do it and kind of keep some of that style. But Guy Ritchie has a unique flavor to him. And if you're going to incorporate that and do Captain Britain, honestly, I think he would do good. But I think it's going to be years before we see this materialize because it seems that we already have a pretty full plate, if you will. You know, between like a Guardian sequel, Eternals, Captain Marvel you know, another Doctor Strange, more Ant-Man, more Spider-Man. So you're already looking at a full plate, and then you're adding the Fox properties. So who knows if this is going to go forward, but if they get a solid script and can work the budget down, if they think they can make $500 million off $150 million, you're making like a $200 million profit on Captain Britain, who nobody's really heard of. So that's really the math there. Um, I'm hopeful it'll maybe happen. We don't know, but I would like to see the character kind of get a big push out there because if they've proven anything is that they can make even the most obscure a household name. So Captain Britain I think would be a great representation of that country and differences that are happening over there. And specifically if they're already shooting in London with Spider-Man and they have all the London studios for the Star Wars and Marvel movies, it just seems like a no-brainer to keep working over there and give that specific location its own hero. Maybe that's just me. You guys let me know your thoughts below.